Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we will understand what is horizontal pod autoscaler in Kubernetes. Alright, let's get started. Before starting our discussion on horizontal pod autoscaler, first let's try to understand what is autoscaling. Autoscaling is a way to automatically scale up or scale down the number of compute resources that are allocated to our application based on the demand. Let's take an example to understand what is this auto scaling. Here, my application is deployed in the Kubernetes cluster and it is running inside the pod. Less number of users are accessing our application, user requests are coming to our application and application processing the request, giving the response to the users. For example, tomorrow there is a big billion day offer in my application. In the normal day, less number of users are accessing our application. Tomorrow, as there is an offer, more number of users will access our application. When more number of users are accessing our application, one pod is not sufficient to handle the incoming traffic. So that's where we need to increase the pods count based on the incoming traffic. Instead of we are increasing and decreasing the pods manually, we can configure horizontal pod auto scalar that will increase and decrease the pods count based on the demand. How this horizontal pod auto scalar is going to work? You see here, single pod is available before HPA scaling and three pods available after HPA scaling. How this HPA is going to work internally? First, we need to install metric server in our Kubernetes cluster. That metric server is going to monitor the resources and the limits that we have configured. Metric server will give the inputs to horizontal pod auto scaler related to CPU utilization or memory utilization. If the given threshold limit is crossed, then horizontal pod auto scaler is going to scale up our pods. And if the less number of requests are coming, then it is going to scale down our pods. Here, we need to install the metric server. We need to deploy our application and we need to deploy horizontal pod auto scalar in our cluster. Then we can see practically whether pods count increasing, decreasing. Here, I'm going to set up this HPA. In order to set up this HPA, I'm going to follow six steps here. First, I will install the metric server. Then I will deploy one sample application. Those pods I will expose by using service. Then I'm going to deploy horizontal pod auto scalar. Then I will increase the load on my application. When the load got increased, then I will monitor the HPA events, whether it is increasing the pod count or not. Let's jump into practicals now. My Kubernetes cluster is ready. Let me check kubectl get nodes. There are two worker nodes available in my cluster. Here first, I want to check metric server is working or not. kubectl top nodes. When I execute kubectl top nodes, the metric server is not available. I'm not able to get the top nodes. Similarly, you can check kubectl top pods. I'm not getting the response. The reason metric server is not available in my Kubernetes cluster. As I discussed, first I'm going to install metric server in my cluster. To install the metric server, I uploaded required files in my GitHub account. This is my GitHub account username and this is the repository name. Kubernetes metric server. You can clone this repository and you can execute the manifest files which are required to install metric server. In this metric server directory, there is a deploy directory. In the deploy directory, 1.8 plus is available. In that, all the required manifest YMLs are available to install the metric server. I have cloned that GitHub repository into my machine. Here you can see Kubernetes metric server directory is available. Let's jump into that directory cd space kubernetes metric server in that we are having another subdirectory called deploy in that we are having another directory called 1.8 list down the files here there are several manifest ymls are available let me apply all those ymls by using kubectl kubectl apply hyphen f space dot with this in the current working directory what are the ymls available all those ymls will be executed Fine. With this, we can see what all the services and deployments that are created. Once this process is completed, metric server got installed in our machine. Let us verify kubectl top nodes. 
still the service is unavailable let's wait for some time and execute the same command metric server is getting installed in our cluster once the metric server got installed successfully we should be able to see the output yes now you see first time when i execute the server is currently unable to handle that after that one second i have executed the same command now i am able to get the top nodes what is the cpu utilization how much memory utilized in those worker nodes i am able to get that information by using top nodes command similarly we can go here and we can execute one more command top pods command currently in the default namespace no resources are available no pods are available once i deploy my application then i can execute this command to see how much memory consumed by each pod currently we are able to see the memory information related to nodes with this i completed my metric server now i need to deploy one sample application in the kubernetes cluster to deploy that application i have created manifest yml's those manifest yml's i have uploaded in my github repository kubernetes manifest yml files repository available in the github account in that repository you can see one folder 05 hpa if you go to this folder you can see deployment yml service yml and hpa yml in the deployment yml i am creating a deployment in the kubernetes for that i am using sample image this image i have taken from official documentation of the kubernetes and here i have configured the resource limits and resource requests then in order to expose the deployment i am creating a service here in the service i am giving the selector this is the pod label pod label i am configuring as a selector then here we are having hpa yml it is used to deploy horizontal pod auto scaler in the horizontal pod auto scaler i am giving minimum replicas of the pod as 1 max replicas as 10 target cpu utilization percentage 50 if the cpu utilization reach it to 50% then i want to increase my pod replicas got it if cpu utilization is less than 50 then it is not going to increase the pod count now we need to execute this three manifest yml's you can clone this github repository i have already cloned that in my system let me go back to my home directory right ls hyphen l here you can see kubernetes manifest yml files directory is available let me get into the directory cd space kubernetes manifest yml files inside that we are having another sub directory 05 hpa let me clear this cd space 05 hpa fine finally i'm in this directory here i'm having deployment yml service yml and hpa yml let me execute these files one by one by using kubectl command kubectl apply hyphen f deployment dot yml i'm creating the deployment with this my application deployment got completed let's verify deployment is success or not kubectl get to deploy With this, we can see my HPA deployment is completed. Ready, one pod is created and one deployment is created for that. Now, let me go and execute service manifest yml that is used to expose the pods. Here, kubectl apply iphone f zero two service yml is available. Let's create the service. So, service got created. How to verify the service is created or not? Kubectl get svc. With this we can see our service created hpa demo deployment service which created as a cluster ip got it fine next one i need to create hpa now for that we are having manifest yml 03 hpa.yml file is available as we discussed in this yml horizontal pod auto scaler is getting created for that we have given min replicas count max replicas count and a target cpu percentage also percentage is 50 if it reaches 50 percentage then it has to increase my pod replicas let's execute this file kubectl apply iphen f 03 with this horizontal pod auto scaler got created once it got created let's verify the hpa is installed successfully or not kubectl get hpa yes with this my hpa got deployed in the kubernetes cluster target percentage i have given 50% min pods i have given 1 max pods i have given 10 currently replicas are 0 so here the target percentage i have given 50 current percentage is not available before going to this let me execute kubectl get pods here you can see how many pods are available one pod is currently created and that pod is in the running status one out of one that is running 
I want to increase the load on this worker nodes, right? In order to increase the load on the worker nodes, I'm going to use busybox here. By using this busybox load generator command, I will increase the load. Before that, let me go here and take a duplicate tab. Let me execute kubectl get a HPO, the horizontal pod auto scalar. So currently 0% load is there and target percent is 50. Now I want to increase that load. In order to increase the load, I'm going to use this command. Take this command and execute it. In the first terminal, I'm executing this command. When I execute this command, it will increase load on our machine. You see here, the, it is saying, okay, that means the load is increasing on that. Let's verify that. kubectl get HPA. So you can see here, currently still it is 0%. Now, let's check this, get HPA. Now you can see here, when I execute that command multiple times, initially it was 0, 0, 0. Now it is giving as 179%. Target percentage is 50, it reached it to 179 percentage. Now see, the keep on load is increasing, it reached it to 265 percentage. The load is keep on increasing. When the load is keep on increasing, let's verify the pods count is increased or not. kubectl get HPA. Yes, earlier the pod replicas are 0, now the pod replicas count increased to 6. Let's execute a command kubectl get pods. So earlier we had only one pod. Now, HPA demo deployment, there was only one pod. Now see, the pods count is keep on increasing. Why the pods count is keep on increasing? At the time of deployment, only one pod got created. Now, how come we got the six pods? Because of pod auto scalar. You see here, the load is increasing on our machine. As the load is increasing on our machine, the pods count got increased. So total, we got eight replicas, eight pods got created. If I stop this load generator, then the load will be decreased on our machine. When the load is decreased on our machine, then automatically it is going to decrease the pod count. Now it will take some time to decrease that pod count. So you can see get HPA, there are 8 replicas available and you can execute kubectl get pods command. So here you can see 8 pod replicas are available. Now slowly the pods count will be decreased. Now you can see here. Earlier we had 8 pod replicas, now de deleted 1 pod replica, now the replicas we have 7. Slowly it is going to reduce the pod replica. When the load is decreasing, the pods also will decrease. When the load is increasing, the pods count will increase. That is called auto scaling. When less number of users are accessing our application, one pod is going to execute. When more number of requests are coming, when the more load is there on our application, the number of pods count is going to increase. Here how this auto scalar is working, metric server we installed, metric server gathering the statistics of our application and our node, it is giving the information to HPA. In the HPA I configured CPU target percent is 50, if CPU percent increases to more than 50, then this HPA is going to increase the pod count. If CPU utilization reduced, then the number of pods are going to reduce. You no need to create more pods, you no need to delete the pods automatically pod auto scalar will identify when more pods are required then it will increase that when pods are not required then it is going to decrease the pod count this is called as horizontal pod auto scalar in kubernetes thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates